brief quiz, like 15 minutes quiz at the moment. The first part of the quiz will be all letters, 33 letters in alphabetical order. A, B, V, G, because you need to use a dictionary. For that, for, for that purpose, I'll give you crossword puzzles. <laughs> so you learn new words, if you do it well, new expression, if you do it correctly, there are all the words, that's simple, some of them you might know. And, and on top of that, you learn to uh, use a dictionary. Because you have to use a dictionary. <laughs> You know what? Generally, for reading, no, but you need to, you know, use dictionary. But if, but it, on the dictionary of my phone, I don't need to. You know, nowadays you don't need to like flip through a dictionary anymore. <laughs> you do for some other things. Okay? Yeah, you, you need to know the their right? order of the letters. Dialogues later. Are we working on this right now? Uh, no, no, not right now. At home, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And in the back is some dialogues we'll read if we have time later on today or next time, okay? So, mainly, this is your homework, really. To figure yeah. out the words, right? This is, uh, you know, what's a, what's a dog, school, window, etc. And then you could learn some Russian expression when you do it correctly. And use a dictionary. Okay, so uh, this is the first part of the quiz. And the second part of the quiz, I'll give you a string of words 5, 10, 20, well, not that many. <laughs> and uh, you have to circle the soft consonant. Right? You remember that we have three phonetical rules, major one. So we keep them all in mind, but one of them you really need to understand well, right? Remember the concept about soft and hard concepts. That's why you did the homework, that's why you did it a lot here. So I'll give you an example of what it will be looks like. Okay, so I'll give you a word like, for instance. For example, there will be, so, so first assignment, alphabet. Second assignment, Circle or underline soft consonant only. Maybe none of them have. Maybe all of them have. Maybe one word doesn't and that one all have. So you just have to figure out, right? So, for, for example, right? I give you several of them. Mm Okay, for example, this one, right? So it will be already printed. All you have to do, circle or whatever, underline, circle, soft consonant. So what's a soft consonant in this word? All you have to do is just put this one. No writing, nothing. Only letters writing in the first one. Okay, this one. This one. U, U is a vowel, right? So yes. vowel couldn't be soft or hard, right? Which one? La and la. Okay? Now this one. Okay? This one. Okay? Etc. Etc. You want to circle the soft consonant. Only. That's all. No, 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 no. Nothing else. I ask it. Circle or highlight. Oh, whatever. Uh, underline circle, it's clear. Because right? if you underline circle, okay, very simple. Okay, is everything clear? Okay, but we'll do, of course, more than this word. Okay, that's it. Okay, and you have crossword puzzles. We could also practice a little bit if you want pronunciation practice or reading practice. What would you prefer? We could do many things right now. Pronunciation. Okay, a little bit pronunciation. Oh, by the way, talking about pronunciation. Let's do before you pronunciation. Will you? Any volunteers to write their name on the board? In Roku, конечно. From now on, only in Russian. <laughs> The 
this press mark, of course. And you don't say anything, everybody else read. If you didn't read it uh, incorrectly, then you have to make correct. I read? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, read. Okay. 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 Everybody read it except you. One more time. Manuel. Exactly. Manuel. That's the way you pronounce it. So where is the stress mark? Except it's not E. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, we do have to tend to put it like soft side up. I. But I saw a lot of literature in the in Venezuela, and that somehow it's a good soft side. But again, it's up to you, really. You could stick to that one, whatever. Okay, this one. Sarah. Perfect. Okay, next person. Yeah. Hi. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. You make mistake, you learn better. <coughs> try it. Whatever you hear, try to write it. And then if you make mistake, you know what, what to do. Somebody else? Else read it and see if it sounds good for you. If it doesn't sound good for you, we'll make no correction. No, no, it wouldn't be incorrect, but it could be 
like that. And this one, it's actually up to you because I hardly ever saw it written. So it's also <coughs> optional, but I would say the tendency of the writing is black. Hey, what's your name? Uh, well, I but I'm confused about when we pronounce the ya in the a, uh, in the word. Uh, a is open. No, I know, but when, when you write the ya, when do we pronounce the ya sound and when do we not? Because we're not Well, if you want to pronounce like daisy, make it soft, daisy. This is daisy. But since it's a foreign name, we tend to write it here and kind of pronounce it between. I guess, I guess my question is more general to the to the ya letter in general. When it's in a word, when do we pronounce the ya part of it and when do we not pronounce the ya? Uh, we do pronounce it in front of the soft sign or hard sign, remember I told you? So that's the only time we pronounce only it? Only time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, not really this easy without the yet sound. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning of the word, if the year or whatever, you are in the beginning of the word, in an alphabet. Or maybe with that a vowel, but it's very hard to find the Russian, uh, Russian words with several vowels, okay. especially if this. It is, a, it is a case, but I have to think about which word that comes. Question. What if you know this is a character? When you hear in English, yeah, like base. Good example, I like that record. Okay, who else wants to do that? Who's that orange one? Here it is. No, 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 write the, no, write, write the, the, the block letters. Okay. Right? Is this yeah. how you write Ely? No. How you write it? Big mistake. You remember what I told you about L? Oh, you put have that little hook, the... right? How do you put the hook? That? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh here it is. Even for the friends or whatever note, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Anybody else want to try? Yeah. Hey, you, your name. Anybody else? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Next time. Okay. Good. Oh. What's yeah? What's Uh, we don't have two. Only one. Only one. Okay. Okay. Let's start with this. Oh, where is the stress mark? 
I don't know. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. Let's read this one. <coughs> David? Yes. Or David? David. David or David? It depends on how it's spelled. Well, if it's in English, it's spelled differently. But if it's like in Russian or Spanish, it's David. But if you want really insist pronounce like an Anglo-Saxon name, David, then it should be. Yeah. 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 David. David. David or David or something like this. Or it could be like that, yeah. But if you want David, that's fine. Is it okay? Yeah. Then it's better. David. Like in Spanish and Russian, also David. You pronounce like David? David. Like it. Well, you know, you caught it. Exactly. That's applied to the rule I told you. It's all that, all that's there. Angelica, we tend to do Angelica, like in the Italian, but Angelica is okay. You know, it's some of the things is debatable you know, if you want it that way. Anybody else want to try? No? Next time? Hard for you. Okay. Yes. okay. You could spell for us how it is. to do it next time okay let's do a little pronunciation Thanks. Okay. Let's try to do that it's a bit boring but we'll do a little bit and then we'll continue Everybody have one? As I told you, the letter L is the hardest one, right, to pronounce, especially in the final position. Okay, so first of all, tell me which L is soft here. Number one, Adin, which one is soft? Uh, which, which letter is soft, uh, soft in the first one? L. L. What about in the second one? Uh, uh, three. None. Chitty. There. L. Huh? Yes. L. Okay. Shist. The last letter? 
Oh, yeah, sorry for the print. Shift. Any of them? Oh, shift. Oh, white tea. No. Where? <laughs> okay. Now, sin. Yeah, and what else? Chair. And left. Okay. Next one. Bussim. Yeah, but what is it hard tail or soft tail? Soft tail. 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 Soft
So there's one uh, in the pronunciation rule who doesn't interfere with that. Right? A separate. Moshitz? Lipsitz. Sorry, you We're in a 12. Moshitz? It's a soft there, but it uh, sounds like pear, right? Remember the final position? Moshitz. And 13? That one is hard coming, 15. Sol. Sol. Okay, so without soft sign it would be soul, but we don't have a word like that. It's English word soul or soul or something, right? So, but <clears throat> with a soft sign, sol, anybody know what sol? Salt. Salt, exactly. So, but only with a soft sign. Soul. Uh huh. Yeah, very good one. Yeah. If I like, just destroy the word, you say like, soul. Like, so we know what I Only if you're on the table and ask to pass you in the soul. But it's still a bit awkward. I struggle with that. That, that hello. Like, like no, just don't worry about pronunciation yet. Keep it in mind. Practice. It will come. And again, this is one of the hardest things. There's many other things we need to know. So this is not the number one. Just be, be aware of this. Uh, salt, what is it salt or? Salt. Soil. 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 It's hard. No. Why it's hard? Soil. What do you see in the end? Soft sign, right? Uh, okay. Okay, 17. Skip one. Skolka. Skolka. And then, uh, well, that one is already that one. Uh, 18, you beat. And 20, ling. Ling. Yeah, usually when it's yeah or e, it's the easiest one, especially e. It's the easiest one for you to pronounce. I mean, as much as it could be easier. <laughs> but, you know, if you have a trouble in the end, put e and then remove it. And that's way how it sounds. Again, M, L, R, and a few other one is the hardest one, L especially. So I am aware of that, people are aware of that, but just keep it in mind, that's the way it is. The other one you could do that easily, and where the few other one is a little bit less, but still. I feel like the V is the hardest because then, I don't understand what the difference is, because I can understand where I'm putting my tongue differently for the L and the N. But well, the v, it's a, uh, okay, let's say V. v. A wo. Okay, now say V. 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 I didn't feel like it changed anything. Yeah. That's it. It is. I guess. Soft. Yeah, it is softer, right? Yeah. Well, like I told you, it's not simple for you because you don't have that concept right. of it. The L yeah. feels easier to me than the V. Yeah. Good. So. <laughs> right. Okay, in the back there's a few other things. Let's run out. Okay, so in the back you have more exercise about vowel reduction and uh, also hard and soft, etc. Okay, um, do you want to try that to read it a little bit? Like a couple of, uh, each of you read a couple. Uh, be aware of the vowel reduction in the first syllable. Москва. 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 Москва.
Москва. Uh-huh. So with the verb, am I supposed to change the C and the K to? Okay. No, no, you don't change anything. You just pronounce or, or, or like I, and that's it. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't understand because you told us yesterday that when you have they both uh, without voice, and remember when they both without voice or Wait, both but without. The v, but the V has a voice. So then why don't you? But it's all the three of them. It's not two of them. So it's okay. only when there's two. Yeah, it's only two. Of them. So right. the rule is only when there's two. Mm-hmm, of them. Mm-hmm. So when there's three of them, then no. Mm-hmm. Okay. Moskva. Moskva. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Patka. Patka. Right. Here the stress is falling, so you don't do it. All right. Um. After that couple. And now let's go horizontally, one over the other one, because there's two different syllables. Okay. Let's try to do that one. Right? Okay, what about first one? No, the first one on oh, the, the left. On the left. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Um, uh, no, no, no. And then this one, because it's the same word. Oh. Where's the script? Okay. And what about this one? Okay. 
Остро. Остро. Простота. Простота. Either all of this or reduce or are, right, Christian? Uh, and the last one, colocal. Colocal. And look horizontally at the other form, colocala. See the difference between colocal, colocala. Colocala. Okay, let's try to do the next one. It says hard and soft one. Read the whole line. Okay, let's try to do that. Read the whole line. Michelle, you want to read the whole line of the first words with a D? Because some of them hard, some of them not. Let's see if you could catch it. If not, you could repeat after me. We'll try that. Data. Data. Uh-huh. Duna. Right. Yeah, very good. So I could hear that data, data, duma, duna. Okay, very good. Okay, so uh, Kelsey, you want to try next line? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look, отлично. Yeah, here very nicely, nice soft one, right? Stuk, tuk, tok, tok. Okay, let's do that. Wow. Okay. It's all right. All right. Let's do that. Wow. Wow. Um. Okay. One more time. Wow. Wow. And the next pair. With the O, how do you pronounce it? O. And the last one? Yo. Uh huh. Bo, yo. You see how it works with V and D? Yeah. Bo, yo. I don't really understand how it works before the soft side. Like put, at the end of a word. Or Which put letter? The v sound. I can hear it with the L, but I can't hear it with the V. Well, can you hear it with this one? That's yes, why. But that's because there's a vowel after it. But All I right. can't hear it when there's so, no vowel. Vowel. Vial. Yeah, I can Vol hear it. Vol. Yeah. Uh, if it's a name, there's an example for you. Like this one. Anybody know what me that means? The love. The boy. What is that? Love. Also, woman's name. 
So Lyubov, well, the pronounced consonant, the final consonant, like what do you hear? Lyubov. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's still, it's still Lyubov. soft, right? Lyubov. So Lyubov. So the thing is, a final consonant, like I told you, it's one of the hardest yeah. for you to hear. Yeah. But it's there. So again, if you try to imitate it, put the letter E, Ovi, but it's turned to the non-final um, position, mm -hmm. eh? Ovi, mm -hmm. and then remove that E, and then we'll do the Ovi. The problem is it's changing pronunciation, because it's not the right. final if you put E, right? Could you make up a word that's exactly the same without the soft sign and pronounce that, even if it doesn't exist? Ovi, like if it was a heart. Talking about a foot. If it's a final one, it's pronounced like foot. Yes, I'm saying, can you say that exact same word but take off the soft side at the end and pronounce it, even if it doesn't exist, just just to hear the just to hear the distinction. That makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about if it's real word. There's plenty of I just 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 to hear just so that I can I can isolate the difference. Because if you give me a whole different word, then I then I hear all these other different. What the difference? Find you a real one. Okay. A little bob. A little bob. It sounds very, you know, like I'll try to see what it is. Where I'll try to see what it is. Okay, here. Love. 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 But it's still pronounced like fa, right? right? Because it's the final one. Not word. Yeah. And then can you it say... It won't be if we pronounce like that, it's what we pronounce like fat. Right. right. Oh. And then can you say that exact same word with a soft sign at the end? Yeah. Lush. Okay, and then say Lush. the other one? Love. That's why I okay. did yeah. a real word because yeah. it's kind of... But they don't end with it, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. The final one is the hardest one. Okay, a couple more and then we go in the ikratka a little bit. Um, let's do the next one. Uh, it's an easier one, right? Like M. Well, kind of easier. Uh huh. Yeah. Masa. Masa, right? Masa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it would be K, it would be this. We don't have K. Okay. Good. It's okay that you make mistakes, so you learn. I keep saying it as a sin. Okay, masa. Next one. Uh, oh, no. Okay, masa. What's the next one in the row? M Y S O. Sorry, say that again. No. Yeah, can you oh, read yeah, yeah, that? I'm sorry. Um, Miasa. Miasa. Right. Miasa. Uh huh. And keep going. Um. Mo. 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 I don't know how, why, why this one, not like in Spanish, San Francisco, Miaso, but why we pronounce slightly different? Anybody can explain me that one? Because anything after the stress, you feel like the... You remember I compared... Well, after, after, I thought it was before. Before is a rule. After is a tendency in every language except Spanish. The rule is... So, I mean, maybe some other one, I'm not sure, but Spanish have full pronunciation. All while no matter what position. In Russian, just like many other languages, after the stress tend to reduce the sound. It's not ah, it's like a schwa, like it's mother. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why I give you that example that in many families I see the husband, the boyfriend, or a wife, or you know, whatever, complain about their partners or spouse. You know, they know English better than me. They spell it as great. They read Chaucer and Shakespeare. Why it's always Kostka and San Francisco and uh, something like Rina and whatever it is. Colorado. What is a Colorado? Why not Colorado? Yeah, okay. So that's why I 
can give you that example so you could illustrate how we talk. You know, I constantly make mistake. You know, my husband told me, told me, it's awe. I said, I don't know it's awe. It's not awe. It's something else. <laughs> so, so that's what it is. So we just tend to reduce it. And unless I think about that, when I think about that and try to speak Spanish or somebody listen to me, I correct myself because I know that. But people who is in family or somebody is not aware of that. They don't understand what they want from them. You know, because we, that's how we need to talk. So it's, again, this is a trend. It's not a rule. In English, the same thing. In English, as a matter of fact, you reduce half of the word or syllable or everything. Russian, only vowels. Uh, mostly vocalic vowels. Or uh, another one like E, O is less. Right. Um, what is that we have? Okay, a couple more. Uh, with a P. Spal, what's the next one? Uh huh, Daisy? Uh huh. What? Uh huh. Spal, Spiat, Port, Piotr. And N is easier for you. Who wants to try this? Okay, let's do the last one so we don't uh, skip that so soft one. Let's try to do it with the ikratka, not ikratka, but ikratka sound because it could be with a ye, yo, you, or by itself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What time is it right now? Huh? It's occurred not only with a soft sign, but is that there is two vowels. Maya, Maya, Maya. That's where oh. that ya yeah appears with the two vowels. Uh -huh. Maya. Or what about? Um, uh, well, let's go horizontally. Um, you want to try next one? Okay, you just my good. Uh huh. What about? Um, um, yeah, try that uh -huh. except stress mark. Try to put a stress. It's not humor, but humor. Humor. We see at the beginning of the word it sounds like yeah, humor. Humor. Uh -huh. Hey, the country name. One further after you keep it down. The one right below it? Below. Mm -hmm. Mayo. Mayo. Good. Mayo. Good. Mayo. Mayo. Mm -hmm. Mayo. Okay, and a couple more. Um, Michelle? Geroi. Uh huh. Хорошо. And one more? Okay, David? Yosh. Right, so we'll pronounce it for the Yosh. Okay. <coughs> right, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you understand how it works, right?
Okay, good. All right. So after any questions today? Oh, hero. 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 Any questions about the today class? About the coming weeks? No. Do we have any homework for Tuesday? Yeah. I'll post everything on the uh, cameras, but it will be only oral and study for the food. Okay. okay. And of course, this is an exercise, practice, and... Yes, crossword puzzle, please.